Hello, welcome to Film My Run, I'm Stephen Cousins. Today I'm going to be calibrating my treadmill. Now, many of you may know that I do a lot of running on a program called Zwift. Zwift is an online game. Um, it used to be for cycling, but it's now for cycling and running. Get on your treadmill, get a foot pod, you can log in and run in a virtual world. I really enjoy it, I know a lot of people do, but a lot of people have problems with the pace that they're supposed to be running at and calibrating their foot pod and making sure that the treadmill is at the right pace and knowing whether it's right or wrong. Often we do find that treadmills are not entirely accurate and so one way of testing that is with some tape and a tape measure. So here we are inside in my shed in the back garden. Uh, you'll see I've got my Zwift set up here um, so the treadmill there, I've also got the bike here with the uh, kicker trainer which I don't use as often as I should do. I used to use it an awful lot but now that running is happening on Zwift um, I do a lot more running on Zwift than I do cycling. So I've got my big TV screen there to um, watch Zwift. Um, I've got my microphone and my cameras for streaming. Um, and, and here is my treadmill. It's just a basic standard treadmill. Didn't cost me very much money. Um, it's not fancy in any way, shape or form, which probably means it's more likely to not be very accurate as well. So we're going to try and test that now. So as you can see here, I've cut out various bits of tape and stuck them on the treadmill. And I've measured the distance between the bits of tape. And it turns out that the length of my treadmill belt is 258 centimetres. So 2 metres, 58 centimetres long. So that's the length of my belt. You also notice that I've placed um, a piece of tape on the edge of the treadmill. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run on the treadmill. And each time this piece of tape here passes this piece of tape, I'm going to count. And I'm going to count up to 100. And then we're going to do a little bit of maths. OK, so this is quite difficult doing it by myself. So I'm going to have to look down onto the treadmill belt and count the number of times the belt goes round whilst also timing it on my watch and then we do a calculation of 100 multiplied by the belt length divided by the time okay so we know that the treadmill belt length is 258 centimeters or 2.58 meters and we know that the time it took me to run 100 revolutions of the belt was 1 minute 45 seconds or 105 seconds. So let's do a little calculation. Alexa, what is 2.58 multiplied by 100? Sorry, I'm not sure. I haven't finished the question yet. Alexa. What is 2.58 multiplied by 100 divided by 105? 2.58 times 100 divided by 105 is 2.457148 by 714. Okay, so the answer, let's round it up, is 2.46 metres per second, okay? So it's 2.46 metres per second. Alexa, what is 2.46 metres per second in kilometres per hour? 2.46 metres per second is 8.856 kilometres per hour. 8.856 kilometres per hour. So we just about 8.9 kilometres per hour. Interestingly, my treadmill was set at nine kilometers per hour. So there may be a margin of error there in my calculations, in my measuring of the treadmill belt length or my counting of the revolutions. Um, so we could possibly round it up and say that the treadmill is running at nine kilometers an hour when it says it is, um, or we could say it's just running slightly under. Um, but I've always thought my treadmill is way off so that's a very interesting result, that actually the treadmill is not as way off as I think it is. So back in the shed, I'm going to run the test again. I'm going to run for one minute at 12 kilometres an hour. 
and count how many revolutions I do. So it's a slightly different way of doing the test, but just to kind of confirm the result that we just got a minute ago. So 12 kilometers an hour on the treadmill, running for one minute, counting. Okay, so let's do that. I can't hold the camera while I'm doing this, so I'll have to show you in a minute. Okay, so here's the, bu here's the 12 button here. So we press 12 and up we go. So that's the said the treadmill now says 12. So that's where I'm gonna stop the camera. Okay. There we are, just stopped the watch and we counted 76 revolutions. So in one minute, at 12 kilometers an hour, I counted 76 revolutions. So let's go back in and ask Alexa the maths questions. Alexa, what is 2.58? multiplied by 76 divided by 60. The answer to your calculation is 3.268. Alexa, what is 3.268 meters per second in kilometers per hour? 3.27 meters per second is 11.77 kilometers per hour. So you could round that up to 11.8 kilometers an hour. So my treadmill is running slightly fast, isn't it? Um, I am running slower in real life than my treadmill says I'm running. So if I set it to 12 kilometers an hour, I'm actually running 11.8 kilometers an hour. That's what it seems to suggest.